that, you know, old school style. You'll see it. And Raid XR has that very je ne sais quoi, but he gonna make you salty when you play him. That's oh. good. That's what's gonna happen. Absolutely hurt. And as we saw from Raid earlier, he's going to be playing the Leo against the, the Nina for sure. Just given that's the character that he's got. And a character he's got plenty of experience with as far back as Tekken 6. So both players getting ready now. <laughs> Honestly. Hotnix has come out in the last uh, couple of Juicy Monthlies, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but this is yeah. his uh, first top eight, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Is that yeah, so let's not forget the situation that we have here. Heisei is only in losers because of, Heis of, of Hot Nicks. That is true. That is correct. Despite how much that slaughter wall has uh, been going at him, yeah. it ended up being Hot Nicks being the first needed to take him down. So going to be really interesting to see what all that pressure, all that legacy knowledge does for him against Raid XR. Okay. Player's getting ready here, and <laughs> Hotnix was hovering on Jack for a second. Maybe uh, think that I was about to get jump scared. But here we are. We got the fist bumping going on now. And we get the secluded training ground. Well, easily one of my favorite soundtracks in this game, but for sure. Ooh. Yes. All right. The, the, the T7 Leo. This should be fun. Oh, this wow. is going to be fun. Well, you already Fight. know. Back to Pin K, Sub Zero slide. Okay. A few blows being traded, but nothing crazy happening. No break on the two throw. Gets the full chain. The full chain. Uh -huh. No recoverable life for you. Mashes into the heat engager. Unfortunately, Raid XR now holding off all the bullet pressures. Mm. You got to wait for all five hits in that situation yes. because they were in heat. Yes, it is only three normally, but five in heat. You have to wait for that. And and Hotnik's getting the first game cleanly. Take okay. back to one. All right, mashed into the wall standing string. Duck. Mm, got the shoulder because of the wall. Interesting. And the Yikes. wall break. Uh, oh, uh. they were able to make the second hit whiff in that situation. Very interesting combo. That's a Tekken 7 uh, Leo combo, yes. Okay, QCF1 round start. Dabbing on him, throwing out the lows, but then the blonde bomb. Okay, any damage that they just took, they just got right back because it's a heat engager right there. No punish no on the back 2-2? Pun no punish on the back 2-1 two, plus 2. Duck on the throw. Tiny punish, but would take those. Okay, Siren's Kiss. Mm -hmm. Okay, decent punish on the hop kick. The suffocating pressure uh -oh. from... Oh, but he breaks the arm bar. Yep, you take five damage as the Nina player for having your chain throw broken just for attempting it. And that got them in a precarious situation where Raid XR was just ready to get that wall pressure. Okay, Raid XR trying to keep it. No, doesn't quite get his whiff punish. That was definitely a down forward two for sure there. Wipe the floor, go, just knocks him down. Pressure. Blonde Ooh. bomb once again, mashing through it all. Oh my, and the wall splat. That's gonna be a round for Hot Nicks right here, but oh, it doesn't quite finish it out though. There we go. Bit of a scramble there to get that round, but still now final round in this first game. Yeah, that did so much. Another blonde bomb. They're just hitting. Oh, uh, running blonde bomb. Yep. Yep. Okay, pressure. All right, we're not not ducking it this time, unfortunately. No duck of a hot nice zone there. And then Spider the, knee. Yep. And how many legs are there no going to be throw. inside of you? All eight for the chain throw. Raid XR had a three-way mix after that, and it's tough stuff. Chain throws for Nina are. They're very real in this game. I just mash my one, two, and one plus two binds all in sequence. And <laughs> I just go ba 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 because this is the one in three chance anyway. You're right. Round one. Okay. Fun fact: if they do key charge to do the, do them, they'll always be the one break. Interesting. If they always use key charge. All right. Good punish on the sub zero slide from Raid XR. We're gonna break the wall. Ten seconds, fifty percent life gone. Does not get the wall carry option afterwards though. And then the QCF two. Lands, you have one. Okay. Ugh. No heat dash right there. Wants to save it. No, definitely wants to keep this pressure going. Stack this chip damage on. Perry does not land. You can go for the third, the fourth hit. If they block the third one, you automatically get the guns. 
but wanted to wait. Another chain throw. Can we go and get the entire Boston Crab? No, we're not. Mm -mm. But now one more HP, and then there it is, the generic down four to close out round one. Round two. Fight. Okay. Mid high there. Cyrus Kiss not ducked again. All right. Yes, the perfect. Okay. Not committing. Oh, the sidestep once. They're coming. Are oh. you going to parry? Yes, you are. There Goes for is. the lightning glare. And the 4-4-2 Assassin's Ling. The breaks are just not happening, unfortunately. Now Hotnex already speed running his way into winning game two. Raiders are going to have to really change things up to stop this pressure, stop the throws. Los Angeles 4 2 punished. Sub Zero slide landing. Oh, beautiful, beautiful side step and, and duck on the side step 4 2. Hotnix waiting for the third hit. Not coming. Hotnix not du ducking that string, but doesn't seem to need to. And the down 4 2, that is it. He bursts. Yep. And then there Ooh, it is. Dash. Yep. Putting on a lot of pressure in that situation right there. A lot of pressure. No, that was absolutely suffocating gameplay right there but since that was our first game of top eight now i will have to i will have to hop off because i have to play dr m for winner's finals so wow it's good uh commentating maybe fox down i haven't done it in forever so i'm gonna pass it off to my friend here justice spirit oh boy are we it that was a, that was the top eight match that we just saw dang we're already there we're already at the show Oh my goodness. We're in it. We're in it out here. Super stoked to be out here once again with Tampa Never Sleeps' own Justice Spirit for the Juicy Game Night Monthly CEO Veto, April 6th. Y'all really thought that Spirit Hound isn't gonna happen a top eight commentary now, wouldn't you? Like just let's just let's just shake his hand. Y'all really thought. You knew what was gonna happen. Y'all really thought. What's up guys? Finally on the microphone. Um but we here. We here. We we kicking people up. I saw that match that you had earlier versus on stream. I can't remember was it Bearded Kaiju yeah, that you it was played, Kaiju, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was Really good usage of the Pulse Blast, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just knew that it, it felt like that he was going to press at this certain moment. Yeah. He was going to run up and do something mm. like he always does, whether it's like you run up or grab or run up armor. I yeah. was like, I'm just going to Pulse Blade. Let's we'll right. see what happens. Yeah. And then it just works out. But Timing. Desk. Timing desk. Shout out to Prophet. But we're here. We're here. What's this? Oh, pop filter. Oh, fancy. I I I even heard it too. Like I just heard that little pop. Yeah. I was like, I was like, yeah, it's that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need one of those. <laughs> we're certainly gonna need one of those with the amount of hype that we have out here. Battery in top eight. I'm That's sorry, guys. Top eight winner side for battery. Top eight winner side. Top eight winner side. Uh, had to beat Shy the ruler. Two to one. Yeah, that's what happened earlier. Yeah. That's what they put Shy into losers. Did you get to see that match? I did. Yeah, I did. tell me a little bit about it. Uh, Shy got Lee Bug. GG's. Mm, when you say Lee Bug, can you explain Tornado. On that? So, ever since the bug has happened, you know, obviously Bamco and Ted, the Tekken team is very much aware of the Tornado Flip. Uh, compared to majority of the characters, Lee is unfortunately the one that had to receive the bitter end yeah. for the Tornado Flip. And... With that being said, with the tornado flip from Lee, that kind of decreases uh, decreases the amount of damage that he can uh, give the output towards the wall. Specifically towards the wall or at the wall? Sorry, at the wall. Okay. And, you know, that being said, his Oki kind of got messed up mm. and battery was it's just so ready. so important. Yeah. I, I was saying earlier, the most important thing about winning in this game is keeping it in your control. And that involves finishing your combos and getting the Oki that is desired. Yes. You know, and when these variables come in or you drop your combos, you just lost all of that momentum, even though like, oh, you just got a good launch on them. You took a lot of damage from them. Now that recoverable health, they were able to get away with it and be able to mount an offense against them. Oh my gosh, Battery versus Dr. M 
right here. Yes. If you have ever seen a Shaheen player, you have seen Dr. M's play style, but not the way that he does it. No, no, absolutely. Dr. M, the best, the best way to describe Dr. M is compact and simple. He doesn't go full crazy on the Shaheen. No. Compared to his last um, last main, which would be Lars in second seven, mm -hmm. I very much remember when this game came out, Dr. M kept tweeting out, new game, new main. Mm -hmm. He went from Lars to Shaheen, which is very, very odd, right? Yeah. And he plays very, very compact, simple and clean, stick with the blueprint. The sit stance. I'm not sure what they're going for here. Okay, one for the back, one plus two, trying to get some of this data at the long range. I totally understand it. Pulverizer string, keep doing it. Yup, that's the classics. 20 seconds in, both of them are on rage. Battery decides to spend the heat though. No whiff punish. Yeah, honestly, very uncharacteristic of battery. Back one plus two should have been coming out there, but they're into the down forward four. If Dr. M wanted to step, that was not happening. You're not stepping that move. Uh, while we slide, and though, Dr. M starts the same way as he did in the first round, but this yeah. time he adds in the four forward two, puts battery all to the wall, down jabs to interrupt, he gets control back. Better using that back dash. That's great. Again, the back one plus two just lets it rip in that situation. Maybe Shaheen doesn't have a great punisher for it. I would bet that he doesn't. No, I'm. Don't. The best way he can do is definitely, definitely just punish it with the four four two. Put him on block stun. Mm. That's the best scenario. Or even slide. Oh, oh yeesh. yeah. Got that guard break after the gamma parry right there, and they're definitely putting time into it. That is not launch punishable. Only negative fourteen. No. Nope. Most of those strings where Jack does two hits into the elbow. That's a negative 14 strength. Remember that, folks. One, two, one, two. Tries to go for the wall standing one, but no blocks done. Now battery is putting on the pressure. Gets yep. the guaranteed back one plus two. Tries to go for the carnival. Slide you all the way to the left once again, just the same way as the past two rounds have started, but gets the counter hit uh -oh. axe kick. Down back it to was one. just on the right axis right there. And 443 surf on him. And Miserloo, misery coming for you with Dr. M helping you with that heat smash and helping you lose some of that life. Can he get his first round of battery able to get the chip back up? But a little more rust will take out the dust. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We must keep it tight. Battery just keeps getting to use that back one plus two. And honestly, I say run it. Yep. He's not even attempting to punish after that. So just make it happen. Make it work. No interruption on the down back one extension as well. He could have just done a wall standing four mm. to get some damage like that. Nice down four. Tries Ooh. to go to the whip punish, but gets the homing. Now gets the guaranteed spike afterwards. Woo! Oh my lord! The heavy duck into I know you want to duck for me. Thank you so much. But finally got the slide punish that they wanted. Check this Oki out. Che oh no, they didn't want to do it. They didn't want to let it rip. Never mind. They did it. They did it. Yep. They, yeah. That was layered. <laughs> no, there, there's a different Oki after that wall throw that I really want you to see, but they're saving it for later. Saving it for later. Jack 8 can get so much damage off of that guard break from the pull, excuse me, the uh, the pulverizer string, the full crush down back 1-1-1. One, one, one. It's very good, and especially against the wall, if you want to press against it, you will get wall splat. Yes. And that being said, Pulverizer, it looks like a launch, pun launch punishable string. It's not. Nope. How, how punishable Minus is 13. It? 14. Are you sure? I am. God damn it. Yep. I've, been, Sorry. <laughs> I've been doing forward 1 plus 2 for lead this well, entire time. Now and you it know. misses. <laughs> I did forward 2 one time I, get, I went against battery, and I was like, why did it whiff? Mm. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I, so I decided to. They uh, do have a 13. weird hurt box. Oh, they're playing that quick game. I think Battery is deciding to go for some of that more aggressive stance, but also the backdash, very important for their play style. Yeah, but Dr. M, again, what I mentioned earlier, just keeps it simple and clean, gets it down oh. back to one balcony break, so he gets a full combo, but drops it. Unfortunate, you gotta have those tight. What were you saying earlier, the number one thing that you need in this game is to be able to get your combos. Dr. M getting a absolutely fantastic combo after Challenging in the middle of that gamma situation. A uh, little too late on the launch punch, but after the spring kick, but doesn't matter. Gets the whip punish out of down forward two, and we're gonna slide on through. Radical man. Tubular. Tubular. Yeah. Oh, because it's round two. Round tubular. Tubular. Ooh. Ah. Throw it away to the low. Yeah, they were trying to break the throw right there, and that's why the wall standing one plus two came out. But you know, it works for me. 
Again, the back one plus two, not even attempting to get punished. I really don't think that Shaheen has a button for that anyway. No, gets the low parry, gets the wall burst here by Battery. 40 seconds in, flexes on it. Gets the heat dash. Ugh. Ugh, the blue sparks to add a little bit of spice. Battery evens it up. The flip over after the heat dash is so difficult to deal with. Down forward four is a menacing move. <laughs> yeah, especially versus Dr. M's play style. Just but look at him using the small buttons, the down jab, but finally delays the button so much that they got counter hit, and now it is certainly a jack eight kind of round. Just wait on it, though. He's going to try to wait out the, the meter, but not so much. Doesn't get the tornado flip afterwards, though, but down back one extension will put him into magic pixel territory. Mm, the not classics. Anymore. Not anymore. Battery is one round away to go to winner's, side, uh, winner's final. Oh! Yeah, put the hammer of Atlas on him. Battery has the world on their shoulders right now and is going to blow up that wall and take almost 70%. Mix up. Jumps on through, and this appointment might be closed. 45 seconds left, goes for the high, finally spends the heat, puts him onto the wall Do after it. the heat smash. And the down back one with the perfect. There you go, Battery. Your prescription to the pharmacist is that winner's final. So that Atlas hammer pop off right there. I love it. I love it. That right there is one of the things that you already, I already knew was going to happen. That down forward four counter hit. Because one of the things that Dr. M loves to do, he loves to sidestep buttons, side step. use those small buttons. And that down forward four, 15 frames, it's tracking you both situations. You're just not going to be able to get out of that. And then just letting the back one plus two go unpunished, not even trying to reposition yourself with like running two right. or anything like that with the knife hands. I, he just left a lot on the table. And Dr. Ram, if you're watching this, go back to the lab. There's a replay for that. But here's the thing also, the, the very last round as well, you mentioned about the down, back one, uh, down one plus two. Yeah. Round start. But also, Dr. M jab. You know what happens when you jab in a round start down one plus two? You get crushed. Yeah. That, your life bar gets crushed. Yeah. You're, you're the, the roof is on fire. And you're, they're raising the roof. They popped off. You know, speaking of popping off, yeah. battery is very good at that. And yeah, every no. time they pop off, they'll do they'll do some jack moves. Um, yeah. Very notice, uh, notable for uh, the Frosty Fox. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're... they're uh, a, a them ski after my own heart. They're they're very calm after the win, so let's really win. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you want to give that respect, you know? You yep. know, you know. Some people get real mad when you pop off immediately on them. Yeah. You know, so they they know how to tie that line. But also, know. for those that are watching, I very much support popping off on your opponents. For sure, you should do it. Um, but regardless. I think pop-offs is respectful. Yeah. If I popped off because I beat you, that means I respect you. I feel like I wasn't going to beat you, and I'm really happy that I beat you. you for know? sure, for sure. But now we're waiting on our next match coming up, which Ooh. we're going to go to our loser side because yep. we just witnessed earlier about what Hot Nicks and Radix are. Um, therefore, Hot Nicks taking it over Radix are. So Battery will be going against uh, Hot Nicks. Mm. But now we're finally going to our loser side, which would be Heise. Heise. Yeah. Yep. Um, we haven't really seen this matchup, have we? No, no. Shy actually, Shy doesn't. So Heisei shows up to a lot of the weeklies, and Shy lives out in Kissimmee, and so it's kind of far yeah. for these Oviedo weeklies. So they haven't seen each other a lot. Let's talk about real quick the person that Shy lost to was Battery, the Jack player we just saw, and the person that Heisei lost to was hot nicks yeah so literally the only reason these people are in losers is because of the people in winners finals deservingly so yeah deservingly so and um that honestly this there. top eight is very very interesting yeah it honestly very very now that the the jacksonville squad didn't make it out to this one not as not just the jacksonville squad but also our notable players such as uh day Ibo, day Street, Ibo, Rizza, obscure, obscure, Rizza. yeah Amy. honestly so but yet, even th even so, it's still a very entertaining top eight regardless. But High Say putting on the Reyna. Usually we see him with the Devil Jin, but he's definitely a little bit more oppressive here. Mm, no, not punishable in that situation. Ooh, nice uh, low pair from the Shoe Shine. 
We're gonna spend the heat just to extend a little bit of the combo here. Perfect. Down two. Okay, wants to be in the heat because then you don't have to worry about the just frames. Ooh, nice duck. I say will duck those strings. Absolutely. Oh, that four, four. Then the CD three. Nice low parry again on a down back four. Shy just spins up the rage art. Get him a little bit of uh, compose. What do you think about that rage art? I don't agree with it. Yeah. The, the reason is because like he could have gotten, he was at a high wall splat right there, so he could have got a lot of that recoverable health back, but now he doesn't have that opportunity. Hold on. Might be a word to say, but Heisei denies all of it. Mm -mm. Heisei, I say, brother, good sidestep. And the counter hit down for extension gets a full launcher as well, but drops the combo, which is unfortunate. Gets the 442 Zentai guaranteed, and then we're going to go straight to the stomach to get that heat engager. Ooh, okay. Yeah! Oh, you're right at the wall, still has a tornado, chooses to wait for the low wall slump right there into the tech roll catch. You had to duck that because unbreakable throw. Yeah, unbreakable. I generally thought I was going to leave Shy all the way just a little bit yeah. to Magic Pixel because sometimes the scaling on that grab is a little wonky. Yeah. It doesn't do a, that, a lot of damage by itself, right. but you, you definitely feel it with that knockdown. Sweeps again, gets the Oki as well, goes for the Hunting Hawk, Ugh. forward two, pushes Shy all the way to the wall, the whiff punish out of the heat burst, and Heisei takes full advantage out of it. Yeah, it was the worst possible spacing for that. It was that range where if you let it rip like he did, it was going to whiff, and if you canceled it, you were still going to get electric mm -hmm. from the dash up. It was just honestly just really not good spacing mm -hmm. for Shy right there, yeah. and that's probably because Heisei put himself in the perfect positioning. Which would be what Reyna is ex completely dominant at, which is range one to range zero. Yeah. And perfect with punish potential, especially with the Ford Ford 2 yeah. Demon Paw. Yeah. It is insane. But Shy has been talking a lot of game with the Fang. Fang way. Where there's a will, there's a Fang way right there. Now, I would say Lee is extremely strong. He's always in conversation when you talk about top 10 characters. Fang is always talked about as a top five. Top five, absolutely. It's it's so much scarier now, especially with the uh, the back turn, especially on heat. Yeah. Guar uh, guaranteed knockdown on back one on heat. Yes, that's gross. Nice counter hit. Quarter circle forward shoulder. Does get a pop up on the wall into the Iron Mountain. Uh, there we go. Three plus four. But Heisei just getting out of there. Oh, the heat, iron fist, iron palm. And just says, get out of here, Kung Pow. That was spicy. Pepper beef too damn spicy, man. Yeah. But Heisei has a pretty good spice tolerance, though. Nice block out of the uh, quarter circle forward one plus two, which is a minus 14 move. It is a low. Nice back dash out of the four, four, two. Sure. Beautiful duck into wall standing three. Isn't going to get the perfect wall combo, but gets something pretty good, all, to, all things considered. Couple of them. Yeah, I love that knee. It's so cool. Wakes up with this uh, 7C split kick here. 30 seconds in, spends the heat. Now here comes the mix-up as well, and goes for the low. Guaranteed after that spike. Is Tekken 7? Oh, uh, no, it's Tekken 8. Used to see that a lot. Oh, breakdancing on him. Heisei trying to spring kick. Shy the Ruler just running the offense. Very well, while standing one four, Scorpion Kick does get hit by the throw, though. Shy's looking very dominant here with the Fang Wei. Two rounds in, tries to go for the armor, but Heisei jabs out and gets the Heat Engager afterwards. But I got my own Heat as well. Yeah. Goes for the mid option this time, but Heisei responds with the, uh, the flip over. His back turn, there comes the Rage Art. Absolutely Heisei kills with this. Absolutely. 100%. Heisei, that was a good Rage Art. I think that if Shy just did a normal jab, I think he would have lived. I think he would have recovered fast enough, but we don't know. No, we couldn't say. Nope. Depends on but when Heisei he can. threw that jab, yeah. Heisei staying alive here. Mm. Nice, nice block right there. out of the down back three. Gets a full launcher with the wall standing three plus four. That was great. Perfect. Exactly the correct punishment. This is the kind of stuff that you expect from the high level play that you get here at Juicy Game Night. Sweep. God, that sweep is very annoying, regardless if the knockdowns or not. Yeah. 39 seconds in. Whoa! Okay. It's okay. Keep cool. 
doesn't get a punish on the Shifting Clouds 3. So far away, we wait for the day where these attacks won't hit. Down 4-1, one, 1 plus 2 gets the knockdown, and Heise is putting himself in a good position to close it out versus Shy. And that backdash gives him set point versus survival point. Heise catches Shy pressing once again. Pushes him all through the wall, but doesn't get the wall splat for the wall combo. But beautiful block out of the hell sweep and punishes the wall stating three. Shy sends Heise all the way to the sky, and now shifting clouds is going to happen. It is not going to be cloud nine yet, nope. but it could be a rainy day. Absolutely. Trying to make it turn Nirvana out here. No punish on that one. The Heat does, be, it does get the stomp. Heise and Shy both have the sidewall on the side of them. Will that be a factor? Oh my goodness! The electric wind, Godfist, going and getting the tornado. Heise stomps into nothing guaranteed, but keeps it together in the scramble and takes the set. Who's the ruler now, he says? Not the land of 73. We just switched it because Heisei just purchased that property. Yeah. Damn. For sure. Damn. Do not pass go. Do not collect any of this pot. It's mine. Even at the end of the rainbow, Devil Jin was not seen. But the colorful Reina will prevail. That being said. Heisei definitely wizarded it out, out here. Yeah. He's got the magic. 100%. It, it, it ain't like there's a dude behind the curtain. That's That's him. That's him, big brain and all. Whoa! That being said, next match coming up is going to be me versus Full Auto. That being Ooh. said, I won't be in the commentary for this one, but Battery's going to switch out. I'll see you guys in a bit. TSE versus TNS out here. By the way, if you guys were unaware, the Sweets events, TSE runs brackets on Mondays. They have a Sweets Events Fight League. I believe they have their finals for their league coming up this Monday. Uh, it's coming up at least this month. Uh, don't quote me. But if you guys are unaware, twitch.tv slash the Sweets Events. They are in the community putting out content, putting out tournaments consistently. And, of course, you already know about Tampa Never Sleeps. The only reason I mention these squads is because both of these players are sponsored by these community <laughs> tournament organizing uh, teams that we just so much love how they support and give content to the community. And we have to give back, of course, and make it good on you to pl uh, plug sure. them. So... All right, so that is going to be the Jin Kazama versus the uh, Lee right here in this set. And Spirit does play a good amount of Jin himself. And I remember back when during the Tekken 8, you know, network test, the beta test and everything, all I, you heard from Spirit was Jin's fun. He is. He said it that exact way. He's yeah. fun. So I'm certain that Spirit should be ready for whatever shenanigans uh, Full Auto will throw at him. But... Of course, if you saw, Full Auto is good at adjusting his little timings just to throw you off. Just this weird herky-jerky pattern he can hit you with sometimes where you just get clipped by everything, mm. no matter how much you try to step from Ash. Yeah, we saw a lot of uses of the heat system in their last match. Mm -hmm. A lot of heat smash, a lot of heat burst, a lot of the Zen stance, power-crushing heat engager. He needs it for some reason. But I think that the down three is going to be a factor in that because Absolutely. Shy, excuse me, <laughs> wrong lead player. Spirit is definitely a practitioner of the Hitman stance lows. Absolutely, absolutely. We see both players rocking the Tekken 7 fits. I respect it. And right out of the gate, the high power crush scraping across Ooh. the sky. Mm, mm, mm. Immediate left splits kick into the launcher. Yes, you tried to get up. Depraved Savagery slaps you on the ground. Look at all of this damage. Just a Spirit does get out of there with a 10 frame wall standing string, but all these jabs are putting a lot of pressure. And Finally there's only so long end. that you can block, right? You can only guess right so many times. Yep. Okay, small punish on the big whip. We take those nonetheless. We do. Oh. Okay. Big whip on the Demon Paw, but no punish. Trade. Mm, I think that was an attempt at the blazing kick right there, but they only got full crouch down four. All right. Scourge got blocked, and now Spirit getting his heat engager and his wall pressure down three under the power crush. Absolutely. What did I say? You, you were right. What did I say? Down three is going to be a factor. It's just going to be something that Full Auto has to watch for. And then the 4-4-3, the 
Pulse Blade. Oh no, doesn't get the follow up after the combo. Immediately spends the Heat Dash to keep the pressure on. If there's one thing you don't want, it's Full Auto getting that turn back. Just immediately gets the throw. Full <laughs> Auto is susceptible to it, but he's got throws of his own. Favorite side of that. Square said no to that though, he broke it. But now, oh, Ugh. big whiff. And he get the heat smash he and the wall to splat. splat from that far away. It does not it need to wall that far away. It was literally mid-screen. That was unbelievable. Breaking the generic throw, jabbing the throw once again, and then just we just throwing the throws out without a care in the world. Spirit now poised to take the first game. Throws extremely strong in this game. No launch punish. He did attempt it though. I, I will, we will give him that. Just a it little late. Just got to practice that in the lab. Very interesting block stun on the black wing uppercut. You know what's not? Four, four, three into the counter hit though. Mm -hmm. Stunned with your back to the wall. Doesn't quite get the wall splat, but it's fine. He's got this pressure now. Okay, not mashing into the string. That's good. Breaking the two throw. Mm. Big launch. Uh, Finish him. Yep. Unfortunately, that's inconsistent, and the Heat Burst was unable to lengthen the combo. Just the Spirit, though, keeps it clutch. Just reacting, question mark? Potentially. He does play Jin, so he is familiar with that button, and it is reactable as tight as it is. How many frames startup is it? If I'm not mistaken, it should be 20, 21. 22. 22. 22 frames startup, and this is offline. Yes. So if you have practiced it, if you have trained yourself to recognize that animation and just quickly hit that down back, then yes, it is very possible. Mm -hmm. Other players like Lohai and Rangchu can do it with Leo's house sweep, and that's 20. There you go. All right, so now both players now fighting in the stratosphere. Full Ugh. auto flying through space, pushing Spirit to the wall with all these big plus strikes. The electric catching him. Small punish on the spring kick. You can keep this pressure up. Change the timing off, oh, but too late. Oh my gosh, full auto. He's more like he's driving a manual right there. He is sticking it to him right now. Very much so. Very much so. Just going into overdrive in this set with this pressure. Okay. But he, but he forced mm. to hit the brakes on the throw break right there. Again, blocking the scourge. It's just so good. Just his spirit just completely shutting down that portion of Full Auto's game. And it is a big portion of Full Auto's game. Big oh time. my god! Full forward three, the acid storm. Uh down three. What is it? The hitman punches. Nice. Tied up on round count now. And both players still having the loaded gun in their pockets with the heat there at the end. Interesting. Okay, the back fours. Full auto getting the 4-4-2, catching the timing, and immediately again getting the left splits kick combo. But just the spirit, not afraid of that heat whatsoever, just running up and getting the throw and throw. a heat engager of their own. Just throwing the buttons out and full is getting clipped, but then the rage art against the string, that is going to work. It is not going to kill, but this is going to be massive advantage for full auto. He's got the heat active already, yeah. and that is more than plenty of heat time to finish off just the spirit. One mix could potentially kill. You know he what is smash. the Oki? You know he finna heat smash. Absolutely, but what's the Oki? Electric, okay, just keeps it mid. I respect it, but at some point you have to throw the lows out, statue kick, and then the low string. There it is, full auto now, one round away from tying up the game count. But of course, things are now about to blow up. Yes, sir. All right, he can get it. If Spirit can get his throw, he will get that wall blast. Breaks the throw, that would have done it. Mm, we mm. try and get the British Bulldog. Down forward two, right uppercut straight into your chin. Does get the extra 10 damage from the floor blast. Spikes into the back turn, hit that stance? Question mark? Ooh. Cameraman was strange there, but he gets the parry, the punch parry. Okay, Scourge blocked once again. He gets the heat burst float. Does not get it thanks to the wall, unfortunately. But that's major life lead for Spirit, though. Falado has a chance. He's just keeping the pressure on, just keeping Spirit locked in place. The two throw broken once again. They mash, trade. Mm. And they trade once again. Spirit, though, having plenty of health. And now, set point, survival point. Yes, okay. sir. Just a spirit Within is taking range. full auto to elimination station right now, but full auto trying to reject that ticket. However, the hitman stance backswing blow was able to get a launch, but no follow up. Well, it's, it seems that it's just possible that full auto is running out of ammo. He's running out of tricks. Down two just keeps getting blocked. And this is it. One more situation. And there it is. Perfect to close it out. Just a spirit moves on in this top eight. And apparently. <laughs> he did, in fact, block five of those things, which is nuts. But that is just what happens when you play when you play this character oh my and you're God. Just used to your own buttons.
but that was quite the performance from just the spirit full auto he he did go full auto but just did not have the ammo to cut through this spirit that's for sure mm. just he had a bulletproof vest yes, spirit he did. could not get hit by that down two could not. I wonder if he. I'm gonna have to look back in the vod if he even got hit by any. I at don't all. think he got hit. Did you get hit by a two at all? Daily reminder that I play Jin. That's what I said. Yep. I said it before the set started. That was so sick. That was wild. The tail of the tape was scourge, reactable. Yes. Just the spirit is proof. Clearly. <laughs> yes. You just gotta get in the lab. You just gotta do it. Get good. Get good. Get good. <laughs> Get good. Good. What a set. Yes. No, that was absolutely wild. Even if it was a 2-0, that felt like a 2-1, honestly, yeah. especially in that second game. Mm -hmm. Full auto changed up his offense a good bit there. He's Spirit in there. Here. He's in there. He's Spirit not just in top in eight. He's now in top five, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So who does that make your opponent now? Red XR, I think? Mm. Red XR or it's Dr. M? No. Oh, it's Yeah, it M. should be Dr. M. Do do Red because XR Red is XR is, is, this is winner's finals we're about to witness. No. Losers. No? No, it's loser. Oh, my no. gosh. Yeah, I keep forgetting. No. My God. No, it's loser. This, it's Heisei. It's quarters. The it's problem is it's Heisei. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, right because, like, Heisei just does not lose when he comes out to these Bro, brackets. You're That's what you're doing. You're I am. That's 100%. I'm, I'm autopiloting. Yeah, we're not that far that's in the how, That's how yet. Heisei killed me. I autopiloted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I mean, no, me, strength. La Fuerza. Okay. I like I like Raid for this set. Here's why. Raid has impeccable offense and has the ability to be aggressive in ways that Heisei maybe really only sees online. Now, we know about Heisei's defense. Picking the Reina immediately what do you think about this matchup? Uh, I think we're going to see a boatload of 4-4-2s four, four from both players, that is for sure. Okay. But Leo actually does have some decent options against, against Reyna. Uh, plenty of parries against Reyna's canned offense and string offense. But, of course, we also are very well aware from his Devil Jin gameplay that Heisei is willing to do stance transitions into nothing, to bait those sorts of options out. Yeah. Uh, but, of course, there is also the evasion that this character has. Reyna does have some pretty stubby buttons oh. with punishing the electric off a rip with the back to 1 plus 2, but those for the high string that gets ducked and launched. Okay. Absolutely great option right there for a high say. Look at that huge wall carry. Not However, did not get a wall. Jumps you are in some trouble right now. Special style. Red X R trying to put some style into Heisei, which is on their back to the wall, but mm -hmm. was able to get out immediately. With from too far. Just a very unfortunate there. That was a quick round. Yeah. But quite the competitive. Ugh. Ugh. Just walked away and then threw out the kick right in your gut. That hit the low crush? Interesting. Mm. Okay, but then the big sidestep launch from High State there. The, the, the back turn spike guaranteed that damage right there. Did not get the wall break. Unfortunately, they've got more guesses to make. Raid XR with the lightning glasses on, but unfortunately, Heisei got 20-20, has the better vision, was able to stop any pressure. A big pop-up for Raid XR. He definitely needs this. He gets the guaranteed follow-up in that situation. Heisei stays on the ground, waits for later, and Raid XR just continuing to keep the map advantage right now. But I say the thing is, not afraid to be against the wall. Mm -hmm. and fights back, but Raid XR just knows when to use that timing when it comes to those Sabakis and parries. Absolutely. Oh, the down forward 1 plus 2. Heat engager gets the headbutt, gets the CD3, but no slouch. Raid XR was definitely ready for the punish and just uses the magic 4. Mm. Jab start and gets rewarded with the float combo. Heise putting Radix all the way to the wall. Look at the beautiful wave dash, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, 442 has so much pushback on it when you don't go into this stance. Spends the heat, just not a little bit of control. 1 1 2 goes for the rollover, but beautiful parry once again. Radix answers. Wow. And gets defeated. Just ran up, and Heise was like, I'm going to get up 
and I know you want to try and press something slow on me. A lot of the better buttons in this game are slower buttons. You know, they'll put extra pressure, they'll give you plus frames, but it's because they're so slow. And Raid XR maybe was trying to mount a long-term offense instead of a quick counter hit offense, and Heisei just put a stop to it so quick. I say trying to get that, you know, that jab call up because especially with the round start electric, mm. that can immediately just turn the momentum. But I say, still the, the wave is on their side, especially after that uh, heat engager of the four four two. Oh, good job waiting for the second hit. It is dastardly and hard to get the whip on us on the first hit. Oh, oh my gosh, counter hit into the third. Heisei just putting so much pressure on a Raid XR, going for the panic down back three, but that move chases, and Raid XR had their back to a wall. Just not such a good button in that And that situation. was the perfect move to do so as well, because that actually crushes some high, especially jabs, mm. but the rollover, the cartwheel, will cover all areas when it comes to the mid. Yeah. If you want to do down jabs or try to high crush, that button will definitely work. Mm. Raid XR really wants that balcony break right now. But Heisei fights out of it and gets a whip punish, gets the heat dash. Is this possible for the heat balcony break? No. I had the too low of a wall slump right there. Red XR trying to get the grab after the plus rims put on him. Got punished for it. Luckily, in the ensuing scramble, Heisei got fertilized with that balcony break and immediate movie beginning. Red XR gets a little chance to breathe. Yes. Talk about a GameStop trade, w even stealing all the credit. That right there, Ooh. Raid XR, and continues with the pressure. That down forward two is going to be huge. All the way to the wall, but no wall splat. And no floor break either. Yeah, I was, I was really hoping that Raid XR wanted to push high all the way to the wall and get the floor break. Mm. But That's health deficit, yeah, health deficit looking pretty solid. Nicely done with the back one, one plus two. Raid XR is on survival point. That was the second time we saw the whiff punish on the Electric Wing Godfist. This is the style. Hey, both of these are the players that I lost to earlier. Boo both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put you, you put your money on Raid. Make up your mind. I do. No, Raid's going to win. Has the aura, but no way the 4-4-2 denies the down back three. Uh-oh. The low heat smash, and that's going to break the floor, and Heisei is going to get another bubble on the board. We got set point versus survival point once again. I say taking their opponent to survive to the elimination station. Yep, all the gold, but only one high in the prize right now. I say is looking something to say, especially after that wall burst. Still has a tornado flip and uses it. 7C split kick to get the Yoki. And just like that, we're on the other end of the broken skull. No, my oh! goodness. He tried to get the whip punish, but he wasn't able to. Down for 2 plus 3, getting blocked. Raid XR having a lot of chip damage. Throws do not actually give you a lot of recoverable life back. So he's going to have to do some more than that. But unfortunately, the flash punch gets Heisei's the victory. And that's two games for Heisei. Yep. 2-0, Heisei taking it over Raid XR and moving on to loser semifinals. They were, a bit, they were a bit confused for a bit. I was like, is this three out of five? I was like, nah, Yeah. two out of three. No, the, we're still young in this top eight out here. Still got plenty of space to grow. And that we do, and we keep on moving forward to our next loser's match would, would be Moi and? versus Dr. Moi. <laughs> well, tell me, do you have a game plan in mind for him? Nope, I'm just going to play. That's the spirit. That's the spirit right there. We'll see. My theory, my theory, the down three is coming out in a big way. Now, they do say, the lead players at least, they say down three is very linear. That's what they say. It doesn't uh, feel like it is. It doesn't feel like that a lot. Especially when you do sidestep button in, realign and expand, expand your, your hurt, hurt box. box. But I think that Dr. M is experimenting with a lot of different game plan styles right here. There's Emily Owasaka right there, the Juicy Game Night Weekly Head. She has been 
popping off recently as our head TO out here for our weeklies mm -hmm. and just doing no. such a great job doing of it. Fantastic job basically taking the uh, role that yeah. that duelist largely left for her as he started just getting, you know, stepping up, moving up mm -hmm. in just the greater hierarchy of the, the Ju Juicy Game Night, the TNS and the yeah. CEO and everything. And like I said, we absolutely love Emily and her work here. Absolutely. No, blessed to have her. But, but yes, Spirit and Dr. M. Mm. Definitely going to be seeing a lot of sidestep buttons from Dr. M. He does like his small yeah. offense and his pokes for sure. Right. But, but he's been talking to me about how he wants to mix up doing that. Yes. Because I talked to him about how, like, I just knew that that was what you were going to do every single time. So I just used quick buttons that had good tracking, mm -hmm. which, if I'm not mistaken, you had that on your mind when you were playing them. Yeah. Down 4-4, four, four, yep. mid kick was repping him, hit him pretty good. Yep. And even my back dash, you know, with punishes as well. Mm -hmm. So you did not try to punish back one plus two a single time. No, and it's so it looks like it's a lot. It's a lot, but it's minus 19. Yeah. Just about any character can get a launch punch for it. Even if I have to run up into it, you know. So okay, all right, both uh, players are ready now. So you say Lee Chao Lan? And not Lee Chao Lan. Lee Chao Lan. Yeah, that's, how, that's how the announcer said that. Ooh. Yeah, it's weird. Ready for the next it is. It is a Chinese name, so I'm not sure, exa okay. sure exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced specifically. But either way, each game's a little different. Yeah, for sure. Each announcer is a little different. The Tekken Seven Special once again for Justice Spirit. Yep, and we are back in the stratosphere once again. I think this is the stage we have gotten the most so far tonight. Mm. Agreed. All right, Dr. M right away, starting with the small offense, the quick pokes, the low pokes. All right, Spirit responding right back with much of the same. Mm, interesting. He's using those big lows from Hitman's stance into the full crouch, not breaking the first throw. That is a big sign for your mental in the beginning of this set. Okay, but he breaks the second one, though. He's ready for him now. Okay, down three. Look at Dr. M just trying to be really careful. He doesn't get the stagger launch. Just the Spirit takes advantage into the back 3-3. Three, three, natural hit as of Tekken 8 and closes out that first round. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He almost ducked it into mm -hmm. it, but he blocked it just in time. Yeah, he had the fuzzy in the wrong space. Okay. Dr. M just walks up, does Ooh. the exact thing that Speed Kick says you shouldn't do. Just walk up and just block. But he's just ready. He just wants to see what Spirit does. He wants to get the data acquisition. He wants to know where he can find the holes to slip in his pressure. Okay, but Spirit, though, still stacking up this damage on Dr. M. Gets the 4-4-3, and then the back 3-3 and the down forward 1, cleanly mixing everything up there. And now so two rounds to none. Reminder, that was two heat engagers in a row into back 3-3 to finish out the round. So will Dr. M start ducking? Will Justice Spirit start mixing it up? Oh, oh my god! The it eruption that we saw right there from Justice Spirit does get the heat burst into some chunky wall damage. That, that was absolutely huge, and he gets the reflow with the back 3-3, three, three, and this is not quite killing, but then the last hit does Spirit taking the first game, a clean 3-0 versus Dr. M. Hey, Hachi, <laughs> what do you think about that? Yes, I think that was great. Lee did a fantastic job. <laughs> And Spirit over there. S proudly repping, repping the, the squad. We don't just commentate. We annihilate. We compete. We defeat out here. Tepa never sleeps. Is just the spirit is putting his all into it. And now, what an interesting coach that you see on the we side see right Shai there. Shy the ruler come in and giving Doctor M some tips. Now, of course. While we have not seen it so far in this bracket, Shy the Ruler has been playing with all of the law type characters. Even though Lee is his main in this game and was the secondary in Tekken 7, he does play a good amount of law himself as well as Shaheen. So he's very familiar mm -hmm. with that character, with that game plan, and what Dr. M can do differently. And Spirit is now just happened all of a sudden. That's what camera. he's doing to people right now. He's just got the complete Godzilla atomic blast on his opponents with that pulse blade that he keeps using, and who can stop him? Will Dr. M get get that advice from Shy that puts him over top of Spirit's lows? It was a lot of the lows and the timing catches that we saw. A round start, slide right out of the gate. I guarantee you Shy the Ruler just told him just, just, just do, do that. It. And then he blocks his Spirit slide now. Ooh, spirit yeah. slide, we're calling it that. Nice. Yep. Ooh, nice. Right. Didn't get a counter hit though. No. All 
right? But Spirit gets his combo going all the way to the glass. Not breaking the glass just yet, but gets the pressure Ugh. and heat engager. Okay. Blocks the low, but wrong punish, unfortunately. All right, one more interaction possibly in the back 3-3, three, three, putting in so much work in this set for Spirit. Yeah, he expected the back 3-3, three, three, and that's why he ducked and did the wall standing 2 and wasn't right. Wasn't watching the screen properly. Just a spirit with his back to the wall right now, but immediately runs the pulse blade, gets the heat engager. No uh, wall standing too. He, he tries to got it. up input to be able to get a wall standing, and it just didn't work out for him. But Dr. M gets that running knife hand, and it's continuing the pressure. It's right. not perturbed. Ducks, but not quite. Like, get a sidestep down forward too. Beautiful work from Dr. M. That is textbook how he likes to run his offense. Heat dash, and there it is. 1-1 one, one first round for Dr. M in this Let's set. Let's go. Yeah, he definitely needed that. Definitely wanted that. Great punish. Needed something a little bit more for that whiff, but all good. Okay, down for one poke to the jabs. Oh, there it is. Exactly what Dr. M wants. Baited out an option for just Spirit. Ooh. Got his heat engager. Got all this damage. Almost the wall. Yeah, if he had kept that combo going, he might have killed already. But he's already got just the Spirit in a crazy situation. Nothing right. doing with that slide. Infinite Just the spirit kicks. got a little bit of health back. He gets a little bit more back with the heat engager, and he might take it here. Oh my goodness! Blood players basically one hit away, and then the duck jab to finish it out. Doctor M now on game point to tie up the game count. I need it. Ooh, okay. Perfect punish. Good punish. That beautiful duck and launch. Doctor M ready for it this time. Okay. Okay. Gets wall, a good uh, wall splat. Uh, oh, perfect combo. Wasn't punished. able to pick up. It was the axis. It had to be the axis that caused with the wall the collision. Did not get a punish on that power crush. Unfortunately, just the spirit going for the G-Clef cannon. Just still putting on so much pressure. Spirit gets uh, hop kicked. kicked. The disrespectful hop kick. Now we're going to get the wall. Doesn't break the glass just yet, but one more. Spring kick over the slide, and now just a spirit taking it to set point versus survival point. Shaheen is furious, and I know Dr. M doesn't want to go out just like that. Gets the mm. pressure. Throw's not broken this time. What's the Oki, though? Fight. All right, who's going to stone cold it? Who's going to break the glass? Oh, my gosh, that was side step down forward, too, if I ever Absolutely. saw one. Absolutely. The throw over the power crush, no option to break that there this time. Ooh. And he ducked in his face and did the hop kick. The slide run up. Then, all right, heat burst now. This... I don't know. Kill. He doesn't have the amount of damage. No, and he, he drops whips. it. And the low, low parry on the down three. Dr. M tying up the game count versus Justice Spirit, beating Lee on his own home turf, no less, in his mansion. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got another game for, for you. you. Uh. Mm. Bars. Oh. All right. And that's why you're the best commentator. I was been, I've been talking to people about you this, this bracket. While you were commentating. Really? I just want you to know that. Okay, fair I enough. I think that you have terrific aptitude. But we're not going to talk about that right now. No, nah, no. Nah, we're nah. just going to perform. We're going to execute. And nah. Spirit, he's stretching. No, he's thinking about it for why, sure. Why is stretching? Uh, maybe he felt that he might have made a couple of mistakes there. Maybe a few missed inputs, potentially. Mm. Just making sure that his hands are good, but definitely also taking the time to think on what Ooh, he needs to do. That was a really good stage pick right there. I think both characters really do well on the small stage. They're slide characters, the both of them. Mm -hmm. And Lee has the ability to get long wall carry, but does not need it. No, he definitely does not. He can actually maximize his damage in the stage like this. Down three, but he doesn't get the right pickup. Second time that we've seen that already in this set. Okay. All right. Oh, and the sidestep down forward too, just like before. Yo, uh, uh. And he's gonna get the full wall combo as well. 50% life gone, but wrong punish on the spring kick. I think he was doing down forward one or something. I'm not sure. No awesome. launch on the whiff down three. You mm -mm. cannot let things like that being left on the table. All right, back dash on the throw though. He's just running in and just running out, just waiting to see what he's going to do, trying to get a whiff punish that he's comfortable with. Just the spirit is smelling the no the confidence that is not on the side of Dr. M. No, he's smelling the fear. No, Dr. M just had multiple opportunities but wasn't ready for them, and that gave Spirit time to run in and just get his offense going and take the first round. Down three, down for one to interrupt. Okay, no mm -hmm. duck on that second hit right there. Uh-uh. Ooh, I like that. Good side oh. step, but not not quite ready with the down forward two that time. Not committing. Mm -hmm. Could have had a magic four right there. But didn't do it. Just didn't a commit spirit to the forward three. Missed the last hit of the acid storm, and that was thunderous for 
us in the building. Yikes. Small whiff punish on the hop knee. Dr. M just trying to control Justice Spirit, but he is just not doing enough quick enough. He needs to make bigger plays. Spirit is just killing him with a few buttons while Dr. M is trying to win death by a thousand cuts. Exactly. And then Justice Spirit getting finally the down three into the counter hit follow up. Mm -mm. Doesn't get Missed. the wall combo. Very uncharacteristic of Spirit, but he does get a beautiful sidewall yeah, into a perfect wall. wall splat. Yep. Tornado on all up. this damage and gets the heat smash, closing out the set with a perfect. Just Spirit moves on to loser semis, guaranteed top four. And my man's not even going to fist bump Dr. M for that one. Just gonna shrug at the camera. The disrespect from the commentator. Nah. There it is. That's more like That's it. That's just the Spirit special. That is the, that is the Spirit special. That's the Spirit. Worst heat smash in the game, everybody. Apparently. Launch punishable. Terrible range, and not terrible range if your back's to the wall, though. No, you're right. The stack roll situation was absolutely a great time All to right. use it. Perfect, perfect stuff. Now it is time for winner's final, which of course is Hot Nicks versus yours truly, Battery. So I'm gonna pass it off to Justice Spirit now. I need to get water before that set. Goodness gracious, I'll see you on the big stage. What do we say? Down three was gonna do some work out there. I told the people before you even got up, I said, I think the down three is gonna do a lot in this matchup. Even though Dr. M likes to step a lot and you lead players like to say with your propaganda that down three is very steppable. Uh, but that's what ended up winning you the game, really, that big counter hit into the momentum, right? Yeah, so the down three only worked once on the counter hit, right? Yeah. But it was able to catch him just a, a good amount, but Dr. M was definitely realizing my pattern. So I'm just like, I'm going to do it just one more time. Mm. Just one more time. And it worked out, but I knew that he was going to step out a lot onto my right. Okay. And I was like, I need to use one plus two a lot more, but... It doesn't seem to opt out on that. But thankfully, my down forward 4-4, I think that was the uh, the clutch for sure. He, it didn't hit that often, but he wasn't ducking it. No. But when it did hit, yeah. it, it, it hit. For sure. It hit. For sure. And the pulse blasts to get out of the wall, to get yourself out of that. Yeah. Especially, you know, you, you, you'd be in heat, and it's just like, well, if you're going to give me enough space to do pulse, pulse blade, or Pulse Blast. This doesn't matter. It's the same. No, it's, it's Pulse Blade. The 4-4-3. Four, four, no, Pulse Blast because Plasma Blade back three. Right. And then Pulse, pulse uh, Blast. Pulse Blast. Right. Anyway, yeah. uh, we, we care about these things. The, the, the minutia. We want to be able to give you guys the exact correct nomenclature for this. First, first to three set that we're going to have, that we've had in this tournament so yeah. far. I, I feel strongly about batteries chances here and I that's agree. because of the long term Nina matchup knowledge that they have but Hot Nicks just he was telling me early he's like I don't even know combos bro he still plays a very old school style Nina yeah if you don't know this matchup you're done for but yeah. like what you said earlier battery has a mileage yeah of this matchup, especially going against Lauderwall back and forth. So I think Battery's got this on their, uh, on their upper hand. I agree. I agree. And, you know, I am expecting Battery to take a look at that back one plus two and say, is he going to punish it? Is he going to do something to it? Because if Hot Next can't, then he's in trouble. Big kiss shot right there into the slides. Hot Nicks whipping the slide on the Oki. It's a damn shame. Lost a lot of life for it. Oh my god, we're gonna send you for a ride. Battery does it again, but this time it is a generic hot mix. We may have some uh, some openings right out the get-go. Yeah, battery could have actually probably killed with that combo with the Volcano Buster. Did another throw into Great Oki. Okay. Give me the combo. Thank you very much. 442 goes in for the flip over. Look at how much damage that did, Spirit. 50, but Hot Nicks way more. definitely do a lot more, especially with the uh, with the amount of damage that Nina can, um, I can't think of the word, can penetrate, yeah. especially with a lot of chip and, oh, never mind, it's done. It's done, it's done, it's gone. Battery on fire. Sports, We're, sports all yep, you're done. Yep, bye bye. You blocked it, that's it. So we already saw Hutnix not punish a punishable, negative 14 frame punishable attack right there. And that this is just 
making batteries smell blood in the water right here. Just saying like, oh, Hotniks, you're not looking at the new stuff here. However, putting on a lot of pressure with his running one plus two on the Oki and just 13 second round said, I don't need to know the defense. I got the offense. Oh, beautiful duck out of the downboard one, two, four. Because battery's very much aware, but Hotniks is aware of that grab. Sends it with a wasp standing two launcher, and now Hotniks on the hot seat. Okay, doesn't heat dash. Unfortunately gets hit by that sit-up stance. Get up. Doesn't launch that. That's negative 17, that one. Bang. Ooh, that wasn't one of the ones that reduces the recoverable health, and maybe that's going to be something that Hotniks wants in the future. Hotniks is very much aware of the situation, especially with the grabs. Goes for the uh, Wasetting 4 one and gets thrown again, and this is going to kill, and Battery takes game one in this winner's final set. That was a really, really great option because that slide, that Sub-Zero slide that Nina does, it is very punishable, but it seemed to hit, like, really meaty. And Battery was like, mm, I think I might have even been slow on the punish. However, that punish that they did was 12 frames. So really good option right there and put them in a great position to be able to continue that that uh, that final the closer. sequence. Yeah. yeah. Especially on that kind of health situation, you can just do a wasp adding 4-1 uh, one, and then get the uh, the follow-up afterwards, which is going to be another 50-50 guess. Yeah. It's a win-win situation, unless they block it, obviously. But mm. the wake's up with the wasp standing 2-1, uh -oh. tries to go for the, uh, the guard break, but doesn't reach. Nice Ooh, slide. Seed planter? I can't imagine that that was intentional right there. They are taking quite a bit of chip damage from this situation. Okay, the kiss shots. Nina on heat, especially with the gunshots. Does so much chip damage. Goes for the low, keeping it basic. Hot Knicks. Still looking pretty clean here in this winner's final set. The, just the one two string and the down forward one two strings from Nina are very difficult to deal with. She has all these counter hits, but battery sync. Mm, you don't seem like you want to press. You don't want to pull the trigger and does pull the trigger on the 442. Gets stuck, gets launched, and takes a lot of damage. No, oh, doesn't fully commit on the pulverizer blocks, but it doesn't even matter because battery still puts on the offense, mm. making it one to one. Wireless oh. hammer. That was a good option, honestly, because she has really stubby arms, so maybe it wouldn't have it would have worked right there. But Battery already having the heat engager. Doesn't use the back one plus no. two to punish the Blom Bomb. Not at all. Completely okay, but gets a counter hit, but drops the combo immediately after the slide. Damn shame. Nice duck out of the wall, running three into the high, and Battery optimizes the combo. Here we go. Ugh. First okay. floor, Purple first floor. level, back Sirens one plus kiss. two. Kiss, kiss the wall, kiss your life bar goodbye. Battery is one round away to extend the lead to make it a 2-0. This is not where you want to be at all. Nice punish out of the Blom Bomb with the forward two. Here comes the plus frames. Pulverizer doesn't fully finish it. Goes for the wasp standing four into the, the follow-ups, but no cigar. Hot Nicks trying to get the control back, but gets hit while wasp standing 2-1. Battery is just continuing to run that nuanced offense that they've been learning since the game came out. Since Frosty Faustings, Battery has been locked into this aggressive mix-up style, especially from the full crouch. And they've been using that full crouch down forward four string. You, you, were, you were calling it wasp standing 4-1. It's a full crouch down forward four, ah. one plus two. And it is just doing so much work for them. That's it a puts them move? Yeah, it's a full crouch move. That doesn't look like a full crouch I know, move. right? <laughs> goes for the overhead, tries to catch him, duck in, and tries to go for the uh, down forward two mix-up. Tries to do it again, but goes for the homing. Nice whiff punish out of the sub-zero slide here by Battery. All the way to the wall, spends the first level, but Hotnix wakes up. Goes wow. for the blonde bump counter hit, but doesn't follow up with the combo. That is a damn shame right there. Hotnix leaving damage on the table. No 14 frame punish, no 15 frame punish. Just trying to run the offense as if defense is not a factor. And this is not how you can play this game versus battery. Oh, but the how down forward two might have answered the call. Nice break out of the grab, but the Blonde Bomb activates heat, but doesn't matter with the wall splat. Hotnik stays alive. Mm -hmm. He needed that. Absolutely. Down three. Sorry, down four one. Ooh, another slide. Gets the pick up here, and we're going to finally break the first floor. That Going is to a Goggles perch. high damage floor splat as well. Perfect. I think he's still got Tornado. Chooses don't not to use it. I think he wanted another floor blast, but you can't floor break twice in one combo. Ooh, the wake up launcher, and now we're going to the sands of time because Battery is trying to close this out. 
trying to even it up. And now it is all open ground, Tony. Uh-oh, no wall standing one right there. That happens quite a bit. Blonde bomb. No heat in hand. 20 seconds in, wakes up, chooses violence. And <laughs> we're going to tackle on through. Battery is looking amazing. Mm -hmm. That's a battering ram, that wall running one plus two that Battery has been using. No. No, again. That's don't okay. Matter. It Got don't the matter. whiff punish. Able to keep it clutch. Are they going to go for some extra Oki? Okay, they do. They get the windmill. Absolutely. This is some Donkey Hold Day crazy business. One we more got time. Out here. Nice interruption as well, but another block on the frost slide with the wall standing one. Battery is about to take the lead once again. Goes for the heat dash and closing it out. He is one round away for Grand Finals. Hotnix tries the Sub Zero slide and got fatality for their troubles. Damn shame. It is. Battery is fully charged right now. Mm -hmm. Doesn't go for the, uh, oh! The run up into Crouch Throw. I know you ducking. <laughs> duck, duck, goose right there and goes for the <clears throat> pile driver. Put Good. him in a body bag. Finish him. I like the down forward too. That shows confidence. That's what you want to see. Stop doing that. I'm going to see it. I'm going to block it. I'm going to launch it. I'm going to kill you for it. Battery. Battery electrifies mm -hmm. this bracket. Goes to winner's side grand finals. That's That's amazing. a statement. That's crazy. That is a first for them. A top Two guaranteed finish at a Juicy Game Night Monthly. We're certainly going to be chatting this one up mm -hmm. afterwards. Oh, my gosh. So, honestly, let's let's just be real here. Hot Knicks wasn't playing Tekken 8. He wasn't. He wasn't doing any of the punishes, did not do the homework on the Jack matchup, and just got completely run over. Yeah. But even though if you don't play Tekken 8, you can still make it very far, which is – your veteran knowledge, your wisdom. He's not out of the bracket yet. Nope. Oh, I'm up again. Man, this is the most top eight that a commentators have to switch back and forth. Yeah. This is a new record. Take a shot every time <laughs> the commentators have to switch. Anyways, loser semis. Let's go. Uh, you guys, this is real special for me. Because when Battery first got into the scene, the, at that point, Atmo, I, for some reason, really decided that this one was who I was going to put a lot of my time training and uh, helping bring up. <laughs> and it just so happened that they lived a seven-minute walk away from me. Just about, yeah. So that helped a lot. But now to see the growth, and I always knew the potential was there, and I had been saying it for a really long time. This one's a sponge. <laughs> just absorbs everything, has this great passion for it. How did you feel uh, against Hot Knicks right there? It seemed like you were pretty confident. You just couldn't be stopped. I Honestly, I kind of, he basically just killed himself a bunch. That's And that quickly became, became what I was waiting for. Um, he kept his game plan with Nina pretty simple. He didn't pressure me in the way that I've dealt had to deal with other, with uh, Nina's. I've been having to deal with Slaughterwall for a minute. You guys, of course, have been seeing that for quite a, well, some time. Um, but... He also just threw out way too many slides. I don't know. Um, oh, I know. He was trying to. Uh, that was the most slides I've also launched punish as well. <laughs> so there was also that, even if I did miss him towards the end. Um, the throws also were a pretty big factor if he was breaking a decent chunk of them. But also catching his ducks on a lot of my throw attempts as well. <laughs> so, and that actually is one of my favorite pictures of you doing commentary because I can just see the, oh my God. God. The, it, it's just speechless. Uh, I have no words for what I just saw. That is exactly what a speechless that does not face happen. looks like. That does not happen for me very often. <laughs> no, you usually always have exactly what you need to say on rip, ready to go. But mm. those moments when it's just too much, they, they still happen. And they happen to anybody. I can everybody. hear the other people in that set. They were like, wow! Like, it was like that Korean-style commentary where mm -hmm. it was, whoa! And I just remember being like, oh, my gosh. 
Like, yeah. I just, okay. I was speechless in that moment. And now, now back to the stratosphere. We are having our match for who gets out at fourth and who moves on to loser's final to play against Hot Knicks. We have Heisei on P1 side with the Reyna. Just a spirit on P2 side with the Lee, of course. First to two, our last first to two of the evening. Let's go. Can we finally get Heisei eliminated from a juicy game night bracket? Okay, low parry on the low kick right out of the gate. Carry, very excellent carry on that low parry combo there. Okay, mm. ducks into the headbutt. That is a chunk of damage. Forward four pressure. Uh oh. Big whiff punish on the hitman, too. There's some electrifying Oki on the end of that one. Does get the G clef. Huge amounts of damage. Nothing guaranteed from that anymore. Mm -hmm. They nerfed that. And Heisei going for the guaranteed question mark low in that situation. Yes. Sidestep electric just absolutely zapping Lee in space. Oh, with the wrong, didn't, oh wow. Wasn't quite ready for the punish on the spring kick. Unfortunately, ducks under the magic four. That's a big chunk of damage right there. War God kick blocked. 4-4-4 four, four, four blocked. He manages to whiff punish the back four with the Raijin attack. Uh-oh. Wall crush. Okay, perfect wall standing four right there to mix up the timing with just a small delay. Heisei in heat, just a spirit using that pulse blast. Gets the wall splat, peels off for a full combo. Heat burst, uh, down three, what's your pressure? Okay, uh -oh. Heisei backs up. Was able to confirm that yes. and just continue, complete the streak. And just when we saw just a spirit bringing it back, Heisei said no. Heisei just backed up and made it whiff and killed him for it. Gets the forward a parry there, and the Hell Street guaranteed. Hot me over it, though. Absolutely wow. no care in the world. Blowing up the floor. Ten extra damage. Then the tornado. Then the down three. Yikes. And blocked on the uh, mid punches there, but still great advantage for Spirit. But now Heisei getting his 4-4-2 four, four, into Sentai 3. Getting the electric war god kick. That down three goes under the electric, though. Had a player really getting their offense started, though. And now Spirit getting the pulse blade. Uh oh, he does get the acid rain. Flip yes, over. Does. Perfect. Now, the acid rain, because he was in heat, did not need the just frame on that, did not need the execution. So it was yes. a great 10 frame punish right there. And Justice Spear absolutely needed that. Good lord! Do not mash against the War God kick. It's. it's it's only minus nine, and he was able to go underneath it. Now just Spirit in terrible position, quarter life gone. I say no damage yet. Ducks under the acid rain, and then that should be it. There it is, closing it out with a perfect to take game one. Yeah, Ooh. Spirit, I think, needs to play a slower game versus Heisei Agreed. because if there's one thing that you know, and I've said it time and time again, Heisei is going to duck those strings. He's got the defense. He's going to backdash out of your pressure. He's going to sidestep your pressure. He is not going to stay in place and no. just block. But that doesn't mean he's going to necessarily mash on you. So you got to be careful with your trapping pokes. you got to be careful with your counter hits. Because he only will throw them out when he re really needs to, it would seem. And now Justice Spirit needs to make him have to do it. Yep. Let's see if we can change it up now on the boat. All right, let's see if it's going to be a celebration on this then or if there's going to be a funeral pyre out here. Perfect, Perfect timing on blade. that. Pulse blade. Heisei doesn't get a launch punish on the blocked back 3-3, but still does not continue just to Spirit's momentum. However, this knockdown is definitely doing some work for him. Okay, there we go. Heat dash there. It gets a tornado and closes out the round. That was perfect usage of heat there. To, to and the tornado up. system. Yes. Okay, down three counter hit. Drops uh -oh. the combo, unfortunately. Gets the jewel snatched for it. Oh, there yes! we go. Somersault kick to punish the hell sweep. We are not dropping the combo this time. Taking it to the wall. Yes, pulse blade. What's the Oki? Slide. Wow. And then he gets up into the backflip. Just out of range for the low. Now the heat smash landing for Heisei. Justice Spirit still has a chance to, end, to win this, though. Heisei has a lot of recoverable health. Goes for that 14 frame punishable. Heisei doesn't die punishes. for it, luckily. But he's got lots of opportunity to bring it back, especially with his sense stance. Okay, jab punishing it, but that's fine. We yeah. take those. That was enough damage to kill. And now Justice Spirit, one round away from tying up the game count versus Heisei. Uh-oh, the, the deadly edge found the edge of that hitbox. 
Phantom Pain, Heisei getting the whiff punish into a lot of damage versus just a spear oh in just goodness. the first 10 seconds. Oh, Headbutt into the War God kick and now throw a not broken and that will take the round, putting up round on the board for Heisei. Just Spear not taking his game just yet. Mm. He's got to finish his plate. The back four counter hit on the rolling kick. There we go. Excellent keep out right there. Perfect opportunity and exactly in the corner. The DVD icon has hit the corner finally, but Heisei bounces right back out. Gets all of that recoverable health back. Look at that. And he's got heat. But Spirit gets the deadly edge, has heat of his own ready to even the health lead. Okay, there we go. Slide. Oh, he gets up into it again. A rare situation of Heisei not mixing up his defensive option versus something, and it costs him the game. Spirit now tying it up, potentially carrying it over to a reverse sweep, but we shall see. I gotta ask, was that something that really happens a lot? So he did slide, it hit while, excuse me, while Heisei was grounded, and then immediately Spirit went for the up back three to get the tornado. I got to wonder, is that is that frame tight? Is that like I can't even hold up and not get hit by that? It would seem it looked pretty tight. I yeah. think it just catches you getting up. You just have to take that grounded hit. Ouch. Jack has a couple of those as well with moves that throw you face down feet towards. He runs up and he gets his blue uppercut. If you try to get up and it's the wrong kind of get up, you yeah. get tornado launched for it. For sure. So it's probably a very similar situation. And we saw Heisei one second guessing the Reina pick, but went back to it to, for the final game. Block on the down three, but small punish. All right, unbreakable throw guaranteed. A little bit of extra damage there. Oh, there's Catch a low that comes moving. out of there right now. Heisei putting the mental stack on Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, just a little bit too quick for the down three. He burst R I 16, so it seemed that the plus frames made it so that it would just beat out yeah. the, the, the down three. Okay. Oh, that's a perfect float. That's actually one of the best moves that you want to float with. Spirit getting the acid rain. Flip over. Could have gotten a wall splat, though. Doesn't need it. Gets another one from the heat dash. Makes Heisei watch the movie. Do you think it kills? I don't think it does. No. It, because of the heat dash, it scaled downward. And the but wall. But still, one more hit, and that will be it. A good whiff punish from Spirit there. He ran up, and Heisei... Heisei flinched. That was an uncharacteristic panic button at that range from Heisei. Yeah, he, Heisei is usually one to scurry and not flinch, but there he flinched for sure. Okay, 4 4 3 blocked. Queen being a singer whiffed, but small punish for it. Uh huh. Stomp on him. No. Wants to go and see what Heisei's opponent had to go on for the Oki, and lots of damage happening here. Okay, that is a big chunk. Now Spirit one hit away. Heat Smash is blocked and he ducks hard into the Hell Axel. Yeah. Oh, that, that chunks for sure. Ducked when you should have goosed. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, block in the mid there. Oh, 4-4-3. Four, 4-4-3 four, three. Four, four, three is the Mishima Killer move, but it just has not really been doing a whole lot for Spirit in this yeah. set. Okay, beautiful Ooh. sidestep on the 4-4-3, four, four, but just not quite ready for it. Excellent down forward to catching just the Spirit, trying to catch Heisei moving. I think the Tornado has not been spent yet. Does get the no. spike, just the Spirit getting hit by that extra Oki there. No Jewel Snatcher punish, and all oh, of the One heat. One more hit, and that could do it, and he goes into Raijin stance for the low heat smash, mixing it up. That heat smash is launch punishable, but you have to block it first, and you have to know that it's low from the stance. Okay. All right, homing move. Float, but can't convert. Mm, good flash punch from uh, Punisher into the down 4 1 1 plus 2. Heisei definitely putting it on right now. Heisei is on set point right here to send but just a spirit home to deny him a top three finish at this Juicy Game Night Monthly. However, there I is no way that you're going to stop him out here. Heisei finishing Spirit off with that tracking full crouch down forward four. That move is absolutely ridiculous. I, it's one of those moves I think is actually almost a little unfair because it is fully charge a guard break. It's minus 14 if you block it, but if you try to interrupt the guard break, it's a counter hit launcher. So deal with it. But that was really tough. Spirit had a lot of really good uh, plays there, but just all these little micro ducks and these, all these little whiffs mm. into small punishes, those did cost him over the course of the set. Just like what happened with Dr. M before, where he just wasn't getting as much damage for his successes, but still pretty penny for uh, getting fourth place, I see. Dang. Dang.
right, so Spirit, who you like? Uh, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to Spirit now. And since Spirit is now out of the tournament, he will be firmly in the commentary seat for the rest of the night. So enjoy, everybody. Next up, we got Hot Knicks versus Heisei. This is a rematch. Heisei was put into losers by Hot Knicks earlier. And I have to think that it was because of the oppressive nature of Hot Knicks' offense. And those long range options that he was using against battery, you know, those slides and stuff, maybe caught Heisei a little bit more because Heisei likes to lean back a little bit when he plays. He likes to wait for those openings, wait for the gaps in the offense. And I think he may have reflected a little bit and is probably looking at that set that Battery and Hot Knicks played earlier. If, if, if there's one thing I know about Heisei, he watches your matches when he knows he's about to play you too. So I imagine he sees a lot of the openings in, in Hot Knicks' game plan. And uh, I really got Heisei on this one. I, I think it's going to be a Battery Heisei Grand Finals. What I, do you think? I think it's going to be exactly that as well. And I think I'm going to even push it even further to make it to a Grand Finals reset. I agree with that. I, I think it's going to be a good one. Absolutely. 100%. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. We are starting out with the Reina and the Nina on Arena. We are starting out in the small stage. Okay. Just check it immediately with the 4-4-2. Four, four, and Hot Nicks again, just running back in with the slide. But I say, like, you're not finna do nothing after that. Oh my gosh, got a wall splat, but no extra damage off of it. Does get the down forward one, one plus two. Doesn't go for heat dash, still pulls it out though. Very commanding right there by Heisei. Absolutely, and I want to point out something that you mentioned earlier, that on the winner's final set, Hot Nix was doesn't know how to play Tekken 8. If there's a player that knows how to play Tekken 8, it's Heisei. Oh, show. Yikes, the kiss shots times five right there. Got a tornado that was off axis, so couldn't get the perfect wall splat. And Hot Nix took it back immediately with that heat smash and had lots of life lead as well. For sure, Hot Nix able to answer back immediately and continues on with the Blonde Bomb, pulling Heisei all the way to the uh -oh. wall and gets a heat dash afterwards. So he's got the tornado flip, and then we're going to flip it over like a pancake. Yerp. Put some syrup on it. Electricity out here. Turn on the stove. Hot Nix already spent the heat, but it's a high wall splat with that geyser cannon and is already putting high say with another L on the board. And getting guys, losers final. Three out of five from here on out. Mm. Oh, no whip Yikes. punish, but we'll get the counter, but doesn't get any follow-up. Walked all over the stage instead of getting the combo. That is going to be something that Haite is absolutely taking advantage of right now. Already has the map advantage after that situation. For sure, but no slouch. Hot Nick's able to get nah. the float combo out of there and push. Get him. Oh, no. oh, he tried to dash up, tried to wait a little bit, but the spring kick recovered too quickly. Uh, and the grab, but doesn't kill, though. Gets the Oki and goes for the CD3 plus four. That hits grounded and has a just frame version as well. It only Pass hits one. grounded if you do just frame version. Right. And Heisei uh, is absolutely an amazing, especially with those electrics. But gets a counter hit out of the sweep here for Hot Nicks, putting Heisei all the way to the wall and good damage output. And even more with the one plus two throw. No oh, wall splat, but able to tech out. Yeah, he was off axis. Twice I saw the smoke come around Heisei. And I guess Hot Nicks did want the smoke out here, was able to get a stuff on both of those power crushes and Heisei just could not stop the offense, the oppression of that Nina Williams. Yeah, and here's some of you guys don't know. This is a run back, I just realized. Yeah, I was mentioning it earlier. Yeah, I just I was like, wait a minute, this yep. just looks very familiar today and guess what? It's deja vu all over again. Yep. Hot Knicks takes the first round for looking pretty damn good on the hot seat. But now, this is wow. kind of tricks that we got now in secluded training. This grass. right here seems to be how Heisei goes, though. Like, even 
not to say like this, but even I got the first game off of Heisei. But it's the adaptation that we know him so well for. And I really think he's finna turn it up. Oh my, dude, that whiff punish. You gotta be super careful whiffing against Reyna, especially with that 4 forward 2 follow up. Uh -oh. But gets the counter hit grab and switches position. A great wake up kick right there, but the blonde bomb stops any of the damage. You are absolutely dead. That will wall splat, and that will take the last bit of your life. Hot Next is looking very good. Here comes the grab game. It takes away the trauma and adds more into it. Mm. But gets the crushing wall standing three plus four, and that gets the huge combo. We're guaranteed to get a wall break. Yeah. Oh, but he doesn't go for it. Doesn't want to spend it. Wants to wait. Go and get that Oki. But Hot Nix did not wake up. Gets the Sub Zero slide, putting Heisei on ice. What kind of tricks do we got here? We were spinning on through, but we're going to get the float and float one another. Mm -mm, Shoe no Shine gets his inside three, push all the way to the wall. Here comes the pressure. Forward, forward, wall uh, down forward one, hit into the grab, uh -oh. and the flip over, heat burst. That was great. He could have got down for one, one plus two right there at the wall, but didn't go for it. The binding whip right there, putting some lashes into your health bar. Tried to get another one of the wall splats, but does get the assassin's leap into the heat engage. Okay, gets a guaranteed again with the gut punch. Close for the sweep. Look at the perfect, perfect electricity momentum shifting to Heisei. Bang! And now all the way to the wall, 30 seconds in, doesn't break another grab and takes away all the gray health, slides on through. Hot Next is looking to extend the lead. It's a damn near guaranteed situation after a lot of Nina's throws. Yikes. Get off of me. Ah, that no longer guarantees all the other parts of the chain throws. Great job for Heisei knowing to break those. Excellent. Ooh, Siren's Kiss just kissed you with the bottom of those stiletto heels. And speaking of heels, you're going to need a couple of potions to get some of that recoverable life back if you want to keep this together. Nope, it's gone. You missed out on the potion, missed wow. out on the medicine. Wow. You might need to see another doctor to get the round back. 2-0 Hot Nicks. Yeah, uh, you need to see a proctologist after that when he was all up in Heisei. Yeah, go to the Devil Gen, please. We want to see it. We want to see it. I agree with the Devil Gen pick. But once he makes that pick, yep. it's you got to stick through the Devil Gen from here on out. He's down 0 and 2, but that's no not a way. Devil Gen. Hold on. Wait a minute. This is Wait a, minute. a member of the Mishima family that we did not expect to see. The June Kazama. And as you said, this is a character lock situation. You can only switch characters if you lose. But he cannot lose unless he loses the set. So he is stuck with Jun Kazama, which we have not seen him play. At this all. is a sleeper pick. No, we've never seen him play Jun at all. No. And I think Hot Nix has the upper hand here as well, considering he is a veteran of this franchise. I think he knows a thing or two about June. Yep, you're right about that, 100%. But that beautiful wall splat off Axis gets an even better wall splat on the end and gets the gun, the heat smash. You wanted to press something on that Oki? Oki doki, thank you for the rest of your life. 1-1-2, one, one, gets the mix up afterwards, goes for the sweep this time. No punish in the bomb bomb, but goes for the down back too, even though it reached. Could have been a lot better, yep. but still looking pretty confident. Tries to get the help back out while during the strings. Are you insane? He's doing the one, two, and sidestep four, which is a plus six. So I'm thinking that he's really trying to use some of those frame traps that she has a lot of. Oh, and the heat smash, a projectile. Catches Hot Nix and secures the second round for Heisei. This June pick is looking pretty comfortable at yep. the moment but you can't get too comfortable. Tries Ooh. to get the call off on the back three, but no full launcher, just a floated. Yep. Great job using the dragon wheel kick. No duck there. Hot Nick's putting on the pressure though. No duck on the second hit of the down four two, but was able to get that whiff punish right there. Are they gonna get a wall spirit? Yes, yes we are. And we're even getting a heat burst out of it. And we're gonna switch on through. Sidewall may have saved Hot Nix's life, but it doesn't even matter as the heat smash smashes through and secures the round for Heisei. 
You ever get killed by the same move three times in a row? Yes, it's called insanity. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, that move is so good. Yeah. It's very, very low risk. Extremely low risk. And you get health back for it. It's almost all reward. And you just do it. Even if you whiff it, you'll get health back. <laughs> no, I think that's not true. I think she doesn't get it on, on whiff. I'm pretty sure. All right, we'll see it. Yeah. We'll see it. We'll see it. Oh, you think it's going whiff? I don't think it whiffs. No, no, no. I just uh, I think we're going to see it in this set regardless. If, if yeah, I just don't think it whiffs. I think Heisei got that lock on. I think he got that red dot scope. Ah, the holograph. Yeah. Got you. Oh, tries to challenge afterwards, but Hotnix challenges back and gets a float combo. Gets a tornado flip to extend the combo, push it all the way to the wall. Mm, and the, the mix-up with the grab takes away all the recoverable health. And we're going to get the while running Blonde Bomb making an explosive impact on the fourth game. Heisei not breaking these grabs is really hurting him. And not ducking the second hit of the 4-4 too. Like, honestly, you need to expect the second hit of that when that comes out. Tries to for the hop kick. Does get the punish on the Sub-Zero slide. And once again, putting Hotnix into the freezer. Oh, no wall splat, though, because it is the end of the combo. But... Hotnik spins the heat smash and again secures the second round, but yeah. not just a second round. He secures set point to go to grand finals loser side for the run back against Battery. Yes, sir. Termination station right here. Running one plus two once again. Goes for the stiletto heel. Gets all of that plus frames. Can can not working out. Double can can. And yikes, all of this. Heisei is in some deep trouble. Oh, and presses afterwards, and Hotnik takes it 3 1. Over high say can't can more like can't can't. Damn. Can't duck those strings. It was a tale of this tape that we saw no duck on the forward 4-2, no duck on the sidestep 4-2 either. And those are two of Nina's most important strings that I say seems a sees a lot of. Yeah. Because he plays Slaughter Wall all the time at these weeklies. And I don't know if it's just because Slaughterwall doesn't usually let them rip as often as Hot Nix was just letting them rip, but they were catching Heisei, and the Heat Smash just wasn't a factor when it came to the second game. For sure, and Hot Nix didn't change the game plan at all. Don't care who you choose. I am going to stay in your face, ask you these questions, might as well call it the Hot Ones. He didn't even, that was spicy, he didn't even need the Power Crush when he started cooking in no. the, the later games. No. He just kept with the throws, kept with the down four ones, used the forward four very well, and just kept his pressure going so sure. well. And those those throws. Dude, not just the throws, but all the tools that Nina possesses that takes away the gray health. Yeah. Hot Nix utilizes to the maximum potential here from either throws or whether it's the... Um, What's that move called? The one that crushes your stomach? Oh, the stomach. back one plus two. Yes. Yeah, the Thank back you. one plus two. Thank you. Yeah, when she puts the arm behind your back, and yeah, that's her only... Uh, there's, I'm sorry. That's the <laughs> only original one-hit throw that will delete your gray life, and he was doing a lot of that. So that was that was some tough stuff. Honestly, Hot Nick's... He, he turned me into a liar. He turned me into a believer. But we saw the last match between Battery and Hot Nicks, and maybe he's got something different planned. Let's be fair here, Tony. Yeah. This entire bracket turned everybody into a liar. That is true. I didn't think I was getting a game on high save. So. Uh, neither did I. I didn't expect to make it fourth place. Yeah. I, I didn't expect these I two to be really our good. grand finalists. I, battery, 100%. Hot Nix, I knew was going to do really well. I was afraid. Originally in the bracket, I was supposed to play Hot Nix. I was like, you guys, cause, are we sure that the bracket is... <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be Shy and High Safe for Grand Finals. That's fair. Yeah. It, those were some of the two... The, yeah, the, the and two we I got see. that for our loser side uh, for losers round four. Mm -hmm. Not even quarters. Ooh, good break on the throw. Battery tries to get a ah, throw of their own. Succeeds into the extra damage. No launch punish on the blue upper. Again, just not having the jack punishment on lock is definitely letting Battery get away with something. However, this wall splat from the double 
on that is ridiculous. Run up into the right-handed uppercut. Are you going to go through the wall? Drill him. Fracking him. Frack, yeah. That was a good first round. You thought I was going to run up down forward, too? You're absolutely correct. Yeah. No crouch grab needed, but the down forward, too, will get the one. But here comes Hot Nix. Putting on the pressure doesn't change anything, but will continue to get antsy out of these strings. No duck. Blonde Immediate bomb. Blonde Bomb gets the health back because of the heat engager. Immediate back one plus two. If you were ducking, now you're through. Hot Nick still looking very clean. Doesn't change anything. The offense still putting on that continuous wave of pressure. But beautiful duck here by Battery. Still very much aware of the strength considering the matchup against Waterwall. But the back one plus two able to catch him and put in the control on themselves. Yeah, it's the T-Rex arm situation from Nina that they complain about. Battery is playing the keep out game, playing the defense. They know that they can't compete with Nina's down 4-1 to the close-up game. So it's all about keeping Hot Nicks out. Uh, just playing, playing it a little bit more safer here for Hot Nicks on the pressure. Now we wait. No heat available for neither of them. Uh -oh. But no break out of the one plus two. Gets the wall splat for extra damage. Sprint kicks out of the trouble. What? Speed planner misses the first one. Gets hit with the second. And the down back one to close it out. The realignment on that second arm. That was ridiculous. Yeah, I think it's due to the fact that Hotnik press. And therefore, Nina's hurt box extended to the seed planner. Mm. That has to be the only way. Battery still looking very good and continues to move forward into this oppression. Gets oh. the bear hug, gets the combo pickup. Here we go, but drops the combo, but still slides on through and uh -oh. gets the wall standing, but no follow up regardless on both oh, of them. Done. But finally gets the back one plus two, gets for the mix up, goes for the plus frames and tries to go for the Oki ah. and the guaranteed heat smash. But Hot Nix is aware and ducks it. Ivory Cutter puts him down. Battery getting grabbed saying, Sit still. Yeah! 20 seconds in, gets the uh, the block frames out of the heat smash, but the mm. down forward one catches Hot Nicks from the cartwheel. One more game. Two more games. Two more games. I, that was a that that was was game first one. game? That I thought was, that was game two. Nope. Game one. Fight. We're in for the long haul, baby. I need a reset. Oh, sidestep one into sidestep two. That's some frame type business that you got right there. Speaking of which, good lord, you got the business with your back to the wall right there. That wasn't guaranteed. What the heck? Nope, but this will. This will be this damage, this combo, looking very nice. But Hot Nix knows the Oki set up on the guard break. The oh, full charge. Nice full counter hit. Not counter hit. Nice punish on the down back 1 1. Pulverizer. No punish. Still. Oh, there goes the gray life. You have none of it left. You woke up backwards. You've fallen victim to one of the classic blunders. And the heat smash bringing the thunder. Hot Nicks putting one on the board. Immediate step to the left, knowing the Jack's weak side out of the down back one. Or just in general, <sighs> no duck there, no crouch. Grab. Oh. Bomb Bomb trades out. No heat engage for Hot Nicks. Okay, lots and lots of trades that we have right here. We're working on Wall Street right now. Sidestep 4-2, puts battery onto the wall. Does get the grab broken, both of them. Doesn't get the forward one, the back one plus two. That's what they wanted, that 14 frame punish. Let's see if they can keep it going with the situation on the wall. You are bye bye. dead, 100%. Shout out to Future Beats. 100%. 100%. 100%. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. I power crush there. Hot Nicks, even with the game plan, no punish out of the full crash down for four. But no that, duck. There's, he's leaving so much food on the table and not taking him at all. But yeah. Hot Nicks pushes the battery all the way to the wall and battery fights out. But the armor, the heat engager, and chips out. And uh oh. 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 Yup. He could have gotten even more right there if he didn't let the kiss shots rip. But unfortunately, Battery takes huge pieces of damage from that counter hit slide into the spike. One game in, one round left to even up to one to one. Remember, guys, Hot Nicks on loser side. He has to reset the bracket, but Battery is resetting the momentum as he gets the grab but drops the combo afterwards. Damn but the forward two will get that guaranteed damage to make it up for it. Do it. Run it. Keep with those lows. 
Hot Nix is trying to throw those heat engagers. Did get a great punish on the pulse cannon, but Hot Nix is not letting up. No, spends the heat smash 30 seconds in. Nice break out of the grab. And nice blocking on down back one. But the Rage Art, will he live? Absolutely. And this is going to be a lot of damage and a lot of time to breathe for Hot Nix. It's not going to be a kill. Battery has the heat, has the ability to heat burst, has a little bit of life even. But the slide, the tried and true. If you know there's one thing that Hot Nix is going to do, he's going to put that ice on your toes. And we slide it on through because that slide is definitely on Hot Nick's side no yeah. matter what. Still looking pretty good. And we're, yeah, we're still in it. We're still in it. But what is the game plan for, for Don? Don is very much an analytical player mm -hmm. and can definitely adapt yeah. throughout the set. But you can't let Hot Nick's get all these games, regardless of loser's side or winner's side. You can't let him get in. Hot Nix wants to be right in your face. He's using all these approach tools. Now going for the power crushes. He's talking to me earlier about how strong they are in this game. Notice all the chip damage as well. Immediately running the wall standing one. I know you thought that you had the ability to get out of my offense, but you are in my line of sight. Oh my goodness, forget your heat smash. Back one plus two is the right caliber for the bullets here. Doesn't get the down back one follow up, but the slides come through. Perfect. Did you see that? Backdash into the long range, full crouch down back one, fall, the regular down back one. That was godlike. Godlike. Dude, these blonde bombs are crucial for Hot Nix's game plan. And here comes the heat burst and just continues to chip oh. battery out and finally gets connected with the heat smash. No wall splat though, but able to scout out the slide. Now, battery has the momentum shift and can definitely take the life lead in convincing fashion. Nice duck out of the grab, though. Mm. We break grabs around here, fam. We break those around here. Oh, and Hotnik says, yeah, well, we break toes around here. Counter hit. Putting Jack all the way to the scrapyard piece by piece. But the pulverizer gets denied again by the blonde bomb. Down forward one, two, down forward one, two. Goes for the full extension and spends the heat burst to add a little bit of cheap, uh, chip damage. Hotnik's mixing up the offense. Look at all the gray life, trying to delete it all, but still breaking the throws. We got some good stuff going on here. Did you see that whiff? Spider <laughs> knee into the chain throw. You are in some deep trouble. All of the recoverable health absolutely gone. And Hotnik going for the stanky leg. Battery backing up, getting a little bit of time, but did a button that was way too slow. Hotnik once again with the Sub-Zero slide, putting Battery out of there. Oh, what a beautiful punish. Guaranteed, but not guaranteed on the drop combo. Battery's got to gotta change gotta it up in. here. He's got to, exactly, he's got to lock in. He's got to commit to these combos now. Because that right there might be the thorn of this set. Mm. You notice that a lot of times Hotnix will use that heat engager, that power crush, the blonde bomb to get out of the pressure. And it's just working so well. And, you know, they're using the full crouch down back one. Plus six on hit, let us not forget. But they're not being framed tight enough to stop the power crushes. Maybe throw is good there. Maybe, Maybe another full crouch down back one. Got to stop those heat engaging power crushes that Hot Nicks keeps wanting to do. Oh, and Hot Nicks, the very beginning, throws out the jab. And get, guess what? A counter hit. Yeah. Duck, punish. Now the Patriot Fist doesn't get the follow-up, but the American reset, 100%. Patriotism, uh, spike him, drill. And Hot Nix is in some trouble business right yeah. now. Absolutely. Even even after that slide, after, <laughs> yeah. after that, still get a guaranteed down back one. Battery's looking pretty good here. Able to return the favor. Tries to go for the parry situation. He's over Hot Nix. No, oh, I don't think so, brother. no, not not today. No chip damage, but we'll get damage returned back. Nice block there out of the down three. Nice block out of the frost slide with the wall standing one punished by battery. And now to put hot things all the way to the wall here. Excellent. And they're in the corner. That absolutely will realign. That was a hard duck right there for Hot Nix. You got heat smashed. That's done with your life bar. One round away to even up to make it two to two, just like that. Yeah. 
Okay. Yes. Please get the combo Let's this time. Go. Here we go. Blue upper into the wall splat. Stomp on him, but it didn't hit the meaty timing properly. Gets the stomp. You are going to get hit by this wall into the splat. Off axis. Didn't get the tornado. Why was that? I'm not sure, but they kept it together. Got the full crouch down forward four string, which is hit confirmable, by the way. Remind them. Yeah. Remind them. Let's go, Battery. You need one more game to take it home. This Juicy Game Night Monthly is in the air right now. Will we see a reset or will we see Battery take it? The back one plus two might have something to say out of that reset. Forward to the punish, the Blonde Bomb. Nice break out of the hot next here, but Jack 8 on heat it is a scary situation here. You do not want to deal with it. And no, just misses out, but we'll still get some guaranteed damage out after that. Minus 10 guaranteed, but don't matter as we close it out with the perfect. Two rounds away for battery. Got to stay frame tight. They were feeling themselves, but Hot Nix was feeling that counter hit. Got a launch and into the no wall splat. Great tech and battery got their back to a wall. Able to duck out of the, uh, the siren's that. kiss. But no perfect punish. Yeah, no perfect punish there. One, two out of the down forward two here. And Hotnik still looking pretty good and just restraining himself. But the Siren's Kiss again gets the uh -oh. counter hit, still gets the tornado flip, but drops the combo. He was going for the the uh, QCF2 there, I think, instead of the jump up. Yikes, flipped over. I got the Shago HUD and the pulverizer string catching him. We're on tournament point here, Spirit. One more round to to reign ourselves a new champion for juicy monthly blonde bomb activates the heat puts battery all the, all the way to the wall one two just continues chip, uh, chip due to the fact that he is on heat no break out of that grab and we're gonna switch positions here uh oh that was a grab attempt right there but they were too far away blonde bomb again get off of me spring kicks out of there seed planet activates on the second turn yes this is the situation, ride or die right now. Heat Smash gets blocked. Hotnix not getting a punish on the down back one, trying to run the classics out here, and he stays alive. The defense on Hotnix, able to duck the down back one and committing to the mid, uh, mid blocking. Stays alive here and now putting on the pressure, putting Battery again to the wall. Oh my gosh, Battery had to do something there. And what they had to do was get counter hit by the Blonde Bomb Extender from the down for one, two. There goes the Heat Smash into lots of recoverable health. But now Battery is in rage, has 20% extra damage. Oh my gosh, no more recoverable health at all. You're basically guaranteed to take damage right there. Hot Nix trying to reset it for us. Juicy game night. We got ourselves a tournament point versus reset point. Hot Nix is on the driver's seat, if I say, because he's putting Battery all the way to the wall, but Battery is gonna fight out of it. Tries to go for that down forward to wake up, but no cigar. Oh, breaks the Volcano Buster at the very last moment. Perfect, yikes, no recoverable health for you. Just at the rage threshold, they woke up backwards, and we got ourselves a reset! Hot Nix, staying composed. Hot damn! Staying composed. Resets the score. Zero, zero. The veteran still got some tricks onto this Knicks. Yikes. Yikes. That right there. It down forward one, two. It's gonna do the job. But battery immediately running with the while running one plus two to try and just stop this pressure. But Hot Knicks is just putting it on. He will not not put it away but he says i'm gonna get you with a heat engaging throw never mind Ooh. Ooh. Pulverizer spends it no punish on the minus 13 frame nice block on the down back one again but no punish no oh my god he's just looking at them uh oh not good that right there is a launching heat dash all he has to do is get a Rage Art. He refuses to do so. He wants to keep it old school and finish it out right. Hot Nix has officially taken the lead. Tries to go for the can opener, but doesn't even need to considering it was a whiff and battery was definitely ready for the low extension. 
Goes for a debug, miss inputs, but still gets some da guaranteed damage. Yeah, it's plenty of damage for a throw for that caliber right there. Full crouch down forward, one plus two string. Battery ties up the round count and sends a message. Starts off with the armor, but no success. Uh-oh. Just to stay down here. Another whiff punish on the back one plus two. Pulverizer coming and tries to go for the caliber once again. But oh. beautiful low parry out of the frost slide. Here it comes battery. No uh. heat needed because he is the one on fire. There you go. Heat dash into the press on him. Press the situation. Back one plus two. Wall splat from all that way away. That was a 27 second perfect. Yes. They're looking amazing regardless of the reset or not. Down back one. Here it comes. Nice break again. But the guaranteed counter hit out of the slide. And we got uh -oh. ourselves a floor burst. It's a lot of damage here for Hot Nicks. Yikes. They were able to keep it tight. Hot Nicks does finally get interrupted right there into the run up down forward two. Hot Nicks try to interrupt all of that and is getting a lot of damage on him. Plasma Stomp, you are going to die. Rest in peace. What do you get written on your tombstone? Apparently, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just imagine. Here lies Hot Nicks. <laughs> <laughs> Cause of death. <laughs> <laughs> Put that one in the obituary. Oh my goodness. Open up an estate account. Mm. Oh, I'm not... They're they they got to keep doing it, honestly, because yeah. Hot Nicks is not using the down back 3 plus 4 to launch it. And punish. when they're not launching it, you run it. Yeah, beautiful whiff punish out of the, um, the sitting stance here by Hot Nicks. Putting battery all the way on Rage. She is looking pretty much in danger. Blah, Those blah. power crushes, they're just at the perfect time. We're seeing a lot of power crushes uh -huh. this entire set, aren't we? aren't we? 30 seconds in, tries to go for the, another back 1 plus 2. Tries to go for the overhead. No punish on the down forward 2, but don't matter. Hot Nicks. 25 seconds remaining, no health remaining for battery. All right, we're out of the stratosphere here. One, two, one plus two gets the knockdown, not a counter hit. Hot Nix got lots of life, and battery trying to catch the timing, trying to move around. But Hot Nix kind of keeping it simple with the movement. No wall splat. It was too far away for the wall splat, but still looking pretty good wow. as Hot Nix puts on the pressure. The downboard one, two strings will close it out. One round away to make it even one to one. He's mixing the timing so well. He's not using these really big, like, Korean backdashes or anything. He's just very slightly moving forward, and that's what's getting him the timing mixes. Sidestep one into the sidestep two. Snake shot is gonna get a heat burst into the ivory cutter, and he's got wall combo that he can still get, but he chooses to go for the spike, and none of that power crush gets beaten by the heat smash. There are no armor moves that can defeat a heat smash, and that right there is Hot Nix just saying you do not have the ability to bring it back. The momentum is mine. I am going to keep it. You're not out of the woods yet. Nope. Not even out of Mars. But where are we going to now? What do you how do you, what do you think about the random stage every single time? I I'm actually a fan of it. I think that it introduces variables in ways that I honestly I'm I have no opinion on it yet. I have to see it some more. I have to see what it has to do. Yes, the overkill throw. Not guaranteed, but Hotnix didn't break it. Nope. Nope. Could have done a lot more damage, uh -huh. but you know, some is better than none. 50 seconds left, and both of them are swinging. No break uh -oh. out of the 1 plus 2. It's talking about swinging. We're going to swing it to the other side. Nice patience there by Hotnix. Not getting caught by the, uh, the extension of the launcher. But able to get the wall Yikes. running bomb bomb, gets You're the dead. heat burst, it gets the wall splat, tornado flip, and flip you uh -oh. over, ivory cut and cutting you down and chipping you out. He's not using heat dash to finish off his combos right there, but he is using that oppressive down forward one string. Hotnix, I don't I don't know what it is with Hotnix, but the way that Hotnix plays with Nina just knows how to take the driver's seat away from their opponents every single time. Yeah. Perfect example right there, the Blom Bomb, putting battery all the way to the wall and chipping them out. Another Blom Bomb, able to activate the Heat Dash, but no follow-up, but able to get the wipe for Florida. Uh-oh, 
Didn't get that. The down four to keep out. I thought it was going to work great, but Hotnik's doing so good with the dash blocking. Battery, I got to say, has got to put a stop to these power crushes. And what better way to do it? Because oh. they are playing Jack. The down back one is the perfect answer. Pulverizer can say something about yeah. it. But the down forward four gets the counter hit, but no guaranteed follow up. Mm, that was the perfect Korean backdash we saw right there. Jack has a fantastic backdash in this game, and you saw how it was utilized. No punish for the bomb bomb, tries to go for a huge punishment. Yeah, they went for a debugger too, but it was an attempt at Volcano Buster, which we're seeing right now. 14 frame grab finally gets the. The combo out of it, but next to the wall, able to drop it. Yeah. But pile yeah. drivers in, yeah. screws it down. We are on extension point. Who's gonna take the lead? Oh. Starts off with a forward two. Talk to the hand. I'm I'm extended right now, right here. Battery is putting it out in this bracket for us. <laughs> Nice launcher here by Battery, extending the combo, and now goes for the jump over, plants the seed. Goes for the pulverizer, but 35 seconds in, still goes for the down back one. Hot Nicks on Rage, but Battery extends the heat. Nice block on the down back one, uh. but the heat smash. Battery extends the lead, making it 2-2-1. Two, two, oh my gosh, that heat smash right there, interrupting, getting them out of the air. Hotnix immediately rematches, said, I want that back. Run that back right now. Forget the stage select. We're going to start oh. off with the sidestep to snake bite. There we go. Going to get a wall. Oh, they had a good wall, too. Yeah. And batteries in the corner. No duck this time, but putting on uh, the plus frame pressure. Goes for the mid. Tries to go for the high Ishida step, but battery goes for the homing mood and denies all of the offense. Oh, just immediately down forward twoing right there. Hotnix not going for the never mind. I'm about to say he's not going for the power crushes as much, but we saw it right there. Hotnix still cannot be beat once he's got battery at the wall. Nina Williams is one of the most dastardly characters that you could deal with when she has your back to the wall. Great punish there, but gets Guaranteed. the crouch grab. No heat engager, but the full charge low. Yeah. Tries to go for the whip punish, but stops on their tracks. Plays a little bit more safe here. Hotnix doesn't duck there, but we're going to duck that time and gets the punish with the wall standing too. 40 seconds in, tornado flips out, and we're going to activate heat. Okay, yeah, Hotnix was smelling the throws. You are way too low to be able no to get punish. that. Didn't get the wall standing one plus two. Honestly, that was an option that was going to be working, I thought. But they just immediately said, no, I want that launcher. I deserve that launcher. And got another one right after they got up. I am not afraid. And you can definitely tell that she is fearless with that 4-2 round start. Don't care how impressive you're going to uh. be. And we're going to keep on pressing with the full crash down forward four extension. Not ducking. Not worried about any of that at all. You can punish the Pulse Cannon. You can. They did it earlier in the set. Are they going to see a full crouch sweep? 21 second perfect right there. Battery is on tournament point once again. One round away. Denies the Pulse Cannon this time with a down forward one two string by Hotnix. Hotnix is still not afraid regardless of the round <gasps> count. But jumps over the Blom Bomb but denies it. But gets caught by the down forward two. Battery pushes hot Hotnix all the way to yes. the wall. Gets it's the gonna wall happen. combo. It's going to happen. Run it. He wanted to get up. He didn't want to. He's going to get thrown. And this is your tombstone. Rest in peace. Battery puts one in the ground. And we have ourselves a Juicy Game Night Monthly Champion. Battery is fully charged after that one, and rightfully so. Puts on the positive out of the negatives. Battery, triple A, triple A match. That was amazing. Nah, that was that was some that was some D battery level stuff. There was a lot of charge. There was a lot of electricity on that one. I loved that set. Honestly, it was very simple, right? A lot of the down four one twos from Hot Nicks, a lot of the slides, a lot of the sidestep ones into pressure, a lot of throws, so many throws. And then what it really came down to was, can you call out when I'm going to use my power crushes? And both of them showcase all of that. Yeah. And that right there is the perfect example of how Tekken 8 wanted to be. All the throws, all the rushdowns, all the heat engagers, all the armor. But 
only one had to go out, and she did it. Battery did it after four years? Finally no, it hasn't been that long. Three years, four years? Oh, yeah, three years. Three years. I had three years is more realistic. Right, right. Oh, my gosh. It is the dawn of a new day. We are out here. Juicy Game Night Monthly has a new Queen of the Hill, and we can't wait for the next one. Absolutely. In which will be happening next month, and I hope that we get to catch you there for more exciting Tekken 8. Unfortunately, no more exciting action left as you are left with us two saying goodbye to you. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. I've been Foxhound. I'm Justice Spirit, and we are Spirit Hound. We're going to sign off, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Peace! Woo! Ow!